evening, brothers and sisters. It's the pit on a Thursday night. My name's Mark Knight, and I'm here with the guys from week 13. Hello, hey, guys. Hey, hey. How are we doing? Not too bad, Jesus. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Right, these guys are in to do a couple of uh, couple of live tracks for you, and to have a quick chat with me about various things and stuff and things and stuff. Uh, we've got a first live video from these guys coming up first. It's a song called Wrong. Wrong. And, Wrong. and it is. Enjoy it. Here it comes. Two. There you go, week 13, live in our studio with a song called Wrong, and by the magic of television, here they are, sat right next to me. Yo. Hey dudes, Hello. how's it going? Very briefly introduce yourselves to the camera and tell us what you do in the band. Do you want to like, start with me, because I'm the nearest? Go on, go for it. Uh, was it camera two? Yeah. Um, well, I kind of created the whole thing. Uh, this is week 13, and um, it started off as me as a solo artist, I'm Nick J. Townsend, but I work with the best people, and that's these guys. You first. That's true. Okay, yeah. I'm Xander, and I play the guitar for Nick, basically, in the rest of week 13. Go I'm Michelle, and I play bass for week 13. I'm Chronic, and I hit stuff repeatedly for week 13. And he's a drummer. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, so you do both at once. Oh, hit yeah. stuff and drum. <laughs> yeah. That's quite a talent. I try to keep a bit of a limit, though. People say men game. can't multitask, and you are here to prove them wrong. Sometimes I grow multiple arms. That's quite impressive for a drummer, really. I've always wondered if we had like an octopus drummer, would would the, would, the, would he be better than Jason Bittner, for instance? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Or he'd have a bigger drum kit. I'm glad that he probably would. Mm. He probably would. Enough of this useless banter. We have to have gigs in the sea. What? He? what? He's like an octopus. I thought octopi could survive out of water for a fair while. I don't think the fans would. Text us in and let us know. Um, whether octopuses can survive out of water or not, the number is 84070, it's down there somewhere, and, and text us and let us know what you think, and let us know what you think of those guys. So, Nick, you've been here before. Yep, um, enjoyed it. They, they might recognise you if they're, if they're loyal fans of the, of the show, if we have any. Yeah. Hey, hello from Ipswich, hello mate, how are you doing? I know the cameraman, oh he's got really stupid hair. Hey, are. can we leave my crew alone please while they're here? <laughs> you're hardly one to talk, listen. Last time you came in, I did actually comment about the fantastic shavedness of, of 
yeah. yourself. It's a little unique, yeah. It is a little unique. I was thinking of trying it myself, but then my girlfriend said she would kill me if I actually did it. Do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm comfort I'm I'm I'll do it. I'm contemplating it. We'll say uh, I'll do your girlfriend's hair as well, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad it. you said hair at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had to let you. Yeah, um, I'll, do it, I'll do it right here. Cool. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. There we go. Future episodes of The Pit. Nick J. Townsend and my girlfriend. Live on TV. On The Pit. Won't that be fun? Shag Pit. Uh, <laughs> let's play a video. It's undensome. Let's do it. Neither. And we have returned. There were some adverts. Hope you enjoyed them. Go and buy all the stuff that they mentioned or we're out of a job. I'm here with week 13. How's it going, guys? Looks I'm like still got no good. Arms. Yeah. It looks like you've got no arms, doesn't it? But you I actually am. do. Yeah. By the magic of television, there are your arms. So week 13, and guys, what's it all about? Alfie. You first. What's it all about? Um, making noise, I reckon, is probably uh, a first off. Um, and not having to change your genre of music every single time the rest of the nation does, I think is probably the most likely, and just doing what you actually want to, as supposed to be changing each time. Uh, There's too yeah. many genres out there, to be honest. I've got nothing against particular genres. It really annoys me where you got these people wearing blinkers, and go, I can only listen to this because it is this type of genre. My, my, my ears would suffer if I heard another genre, and I really get it right because it's like so closed-minded. So we change the rules every time we do a new song. We'll uh, change a genre. It's still week 15. It still sounds like week 15, every song we do. But there's no reason why we can't do a thrash song, an acoustic song, an, in um, an industrial song. Anything. I won't do all the genres, but I just do what I want. No, fair play. Well, I mean, in, in this day and age, is it easy to adapt to various different genres as you progress through your musical career? Well, you don't, you don't, you, you adapt anyway by the fact that you, I hear other music. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, I'm not trying to sort of make tunes, if you like, that sound like other, other bands around there. But I'm obviously going to pick up on stuff because I have heard them. Um, it's just that we'd never sort of sit there and say, you know, Right, we're going to be heavy metal, therefore we have to do a song that sounds like Slipknot or whatever like that. You just do what you like. Um, it's, just, it's just a case of, you, you, you've got all these influences. When I was a kid, I used to listen to like Pantera, Prong, all sorts of things. But when I was about six years old, I heard Adam and the Ants. Now, I've, I've, I haven't like, been a fan of Adam and the Ants since that age, but that music I heard, along with Pink Floyd and things like that, and subconsciously, it kind of creates the person you are. So Take Bananarama the around then as well. No, I... I <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is good. Like, we've been with, like, Week 13 and stuff. We just have a range of different type music, you know, and there's, like, something for everyone out there, you know. Awesome. It's just enjoyable. Yeah. No, it's always good to have bands that don't kind of pigeonhole themselves. Have you guys ever yeah. heard of Ravecore? Yes. Trance metal? Um, I've... I've heard various bands call themselves that, and it's, it's names like that which annoy me. Really? I mean, really? It's probably well, the I'll best tell you what, I'll tell you what, Nick. And see what you think after this. This is uh, Silent Descent with a song called Duplicity. Mm. They're, no, they're good friends of ours. It's quite the a good band. song, actually. Here well, we go. Great. Duplicity. Yes, folks, we get it. Stop texting in. We know you like Silent Descent. We, we play it every fucking day, almost. For God's sake, leave us alone about it. <laughs> or, or don't. There we go. Nice input there, Nick. Thank you. We're just, we're classifying, see, classifying? We're not classifying it, we're making it more classic. Look, fucking, He's forget, this up forget, a, forget this, forget this, let's talk you more about... this again, let's that's the take, only reason why we're here. Let's talk some more about you guys. Um, so, I mean, you, you were mentioning before we saw the video, yeah, I don't need the pen, that's why right. I threw it, there you go. It's, like, it's gone now, it's gone now. <laughs> Sorry! Well, we can throw didn't, some of Didn't mean that, yeah, all right, there we go. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, so we were mentioning that, that you guys bring a kind of a range of influences yeah. to the table, and you mentioned Pantera and Prong. Are there any other bands that you would say have had a dramatic influence on the way that Week 13 sounds now? There's absolutely loads. I think I write a lot of the songs. These guys are amazing because they, they give me the freedom to write the music mm -hmm. and I let them do their version of, of my stuff. Basically, what I mean is, is I'll write a riff and they might play around with it a bit. You know, I might add a few different strokes or stuff to it, but they give me the freedom to write the songs um, which is fantastic, because as a songwriter, that's the best freedom you can have, total freedom. Um, but I was inspired by a lot of songwriters and bands over the years, and I think it's, it's hard to say 
um, the best top ten. But I, I did grow up with a lot of Nirvana, to be honest, to begin with. In my teenage years, progressed into heavier bands. Um, but it's like I was saying, everyone inspires you, uh, whether you admit it or not. Like you, you might hear like a, an Elton John song. Cool. Give and, me half uh, a second, Nick. We're going to go to some adverts. We'll talk more in a sec. That was uh, Panic Cell away from here. Just before the break, we were having a chat with these guys from Week 13. Hello again, people, and, and, and the nation, and all that kind of crap. Um, so we were we were talking about your influences and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Uh, we've been playing one of your videos for quite a while, uh, the video for, for Death Machine. That's been on three or four times in the last week. So if you're wondering why you've seen these faces before, Nick was my guest presenter once, and these guys have been on that video. Um, so Death Machine. Well. If, for, for people who are wondering about the backstory behind it in the video and all that kind of stuff, explain. The floor is yours. It's a big fuck you to the music industry. All right. That took considerably <laughs> less time than I thought it would. You We've got be, about you a minute fast left. Results. Hand it out. Nick. Okay. Hand it out. Basically, it's, it's just a small example of what Week Fitting can do. But the idea is we've done this ourselves. We've funded everything ourselves. Record labels don't help us. Uh, they, were, they won't even dare admit we exist and because they're scared because they're scared we're making good songs that people like and um, bands are copying us I think it's fantastic it shows they're worried as well what they don't know is what I'm going to do next being lent the truck was, a, was a quite helpful to us yeah as well. a bit, a bit. <laughs> say, we got some you, friends in the like military defence oh yeah. fair play it's, yeah. Yeah. it's always useful yeah. so, so for those of you who haven't seen the video before we'll put it on now it's week 13 with, uh, with, with death machine in, in a military van Stood by the side, stood of, a by the side of a military yeah. van. Where like was that cool. shot? Was it? Uh, yeah. Or are you not I at the military van? I can't tell you where it was. Yeah. The, 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 MO, the MOD might not like that. Okay. MOD, if you're watching the pit, haven't you got better things to be doing? Week 13, Death Machine.
There we go, Sanctorum, Ancient Words, good band. Here's another good band, week 13. Good, that one, yeah? Want more linkage, it's getting better. So, uh, we were saying uh, week 13's Death Machine is a big fuck you to the music industry. Pretty much. Have, have they done anything that bad to piss you off? The music the, industry the, as a whole? The music industry, basically, um, it likes to pretend it supports unsigned or... Uh, I don't call myself unsigned. It's almost like saying unwanted. You know what I mean? It's because if they don't want um, poor people to get some of their music, Basically, it's, it's very corporate, everything's planned, um, they don't like the idea. There's 17 year old kids watching this with their Metallica tops and Iron Maiden tops in bands themselves. And I remember those bands, because I used to be in one like that when I was a kid. And they're the ones that are um, trying their hardest and they hit these walls and when they grow up resenting the industry. Now what I did, I worked out how the industry works and I've got a real reason why I don't like it. Because a lot of people give up music after. I carried on doing music, but a lot of these bands that hit that wall, they just stop. They gotta keep on going. Because you're actually scoring more points than you think. You just gotta keep doing it. You can download our tunes if you wanna hear us. Go on um, MySpace, just type W E A K 13. Download that stuff on iTunes, you know what we're what we're talking about. Our music's real, it's it's free, freedom of speech. We say what we want, we play what we want, and you guys out there keep on making music. Passionate cries there from Nick J. Towns, end of week 13. Fight the power and all that <laughs> fucking bullshit. Fuck the state. Yeah, for definite. I mean, what I've, I've been saying it forever on this show is, is the unsigned bands are the, the heart, the beating heart of metal because to, to, to get a record deal these days, you've got to either sell out your own core values or lick as much corporate art as possible. Mm. And let's face it, that's not what metal's about. If if I wanted to be in a sign band, I'm sure there are various ways and means through being on this show that I could probably do it. Fact is, my band is still completely unsigned because I, very much like you guys, choose not to do the whole arse licking group. It's too much mm. trouble to kiss an arse. It is, absolutely. And, and it, inevitably, with the, with the current climate that we've got of file sharing and record companies all saying the end is nigh and all this kind of bullshit, they will only sell stuff that they know will, they will only take in stuff that they know will sell a million fucking copies, go multi-platinum and that kind of stuff. So don't give up, guys. By all means, send us your fucking demos and we'll put your music on. Even if, even if no one else fucking cares, we fucking do on the pit. Anything else you guys want to say very quickly before we wrap it up with another song of yours? Uh, just download that stuff on iTunes if you give a toss because the music industry would hate it if we did very well. So and keep that's what we want. <laughs> Anything else, guys? We're done. I think that's it. Yeah. Are you done. guys happy? All right. I'm always happy. Rock and roll. What's the, uh, what's the other song that you're going to be playing for us? You did uh, wrong earlier. All Seeing Eye. All Seeing Eye. The All Seeing Eye. Any particular story behind this one? Yeah. You've got four years to live. Are we talking about December 21st, 2012 here? 23rd, I think, but 21st, it might be 21st. I guarantee, December 21st, 2012. It's my brother's birthday. Three days of darkness in 2012, baby. Order. Listen to Testament and you'll find out exactly what mm. it's about. Listen to these guys and you'll find out exactly what it's about. Buy you have got about four years to live. Sell your car now, people. Don't Spend the money. Do all that kind of crap. Don't really. Can't condone it. Have a good night. Peace.